Hello, I'm Robin Waddell from HeartFit for Life, and I'd like to welcome you today to today's topic, Peripheral Arterial Disease, Cardiac Rehab Connections. In 2017, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, CMS, agreed to reimbursement for supervised exercise training in individuals with peripheral arterial disease. The decision from CMS is based on significant evidence demonstrating benefits of supervised exercise training that include improved functional capacity, longer pain-free exercise times, and improved quality of life. CMS coverage includes up to 36 supervised exercise training sessions over a 12-week period. The following components must be met. Number one, sessions last 30 to 60 minutes, comprising a therapeutic exercise training program for PAD in patients with claudication. Two, be conducted in a hospital outpatient setting or a physician's office. Three, be delivered by qualified personnel necessary to ensure benefits exceed harms and who are trained in exercise therapy for PAD. And lastly, be under the direct supervision of a physician, physician's assistant, or nurse practitioner, clinical nurse specialist in both basic and advanced life support techniques. A face-to-face -face visit with the physician responsible for PAD treatment is required so that the patient may obtain the referral for supervised exercise training. This visit must also include information regarding cardiovascular disease and PAD risk reduction, which should include education counseling, behavioral interventions, or outcome assessments. Supervised exercise training programs for individuals with claudication can easily be incorporated into cardiac rehab programs. Cardiac rehab facilities have the exercise equipment necessary for supervised exercise training, including treadmills and arm ergometers. Cardiac rehab nurses have the knowledge and tools to monitor PAD patients to ensure the safety and effectiveness of exercise training. In addition, these nurses are able to provide risk factor assessment and education, including smoking cessation, cholesterol and blood pressure management, heart healthy eating, and home exercise. Cardiac rehab staff can obtain the training required by CMS to deliver supervised exercise training for PAD through AACVPR. A free toolkit, Healthy Steps for Peripheral Artery Disease, has been made available for this purpose and can be accessed through the AACVPR website. You can also find this link through the PCNA website to AACVPR as well. The Healthy Step Toolkit will provide cardiac rehab professionals with everything they need to set up PAD supervised exercise training programming, including medical clearance for PAD exercise, pre-exercise evaluation, how to design a PAD exercise program and outcome evaluation. PCNA has additional resources available regarding PAD patient assessment, how to perform an ankle brachial index, and home exercise guidelines for patients with intermittent claudication. Find these resources at pcna.net. With the assistance of the staff and resources of cardiac rehab programs, patients with PAD can feel better, improve their ability to walk and exercise without pain for longer periods of time and have improved quality of life. Thank you for all you do with patients with PAD. For other topics in the series and additional information and resources, please visit pcna.net slash PAD. Thank you for joining us.